Hey everyone, welcome back to our Summer of Carnage right here on the Venom Vlog. And today we actually have a Venom-focused episode, because uh, I know lately it's been a lot of Carnage stuff. Obviously it's the Summer of Carnage, uh, but we are going to slip in some Venom stuff every now and again, and probably some Peter Parker symbiote action, which we'll probably talk about coming up soon. That five-issue miniseries just finished by Peter David, and I really, really enjoyed it. So I do want to talk about that. Um, and then we're going to get into some other Eddie Brock stuff later on, Anti-Venom. We're going to try to wrap all this up uh, before the end of this season, of season three here. Uh, but today what I want to talk about is Vexed by Venom. Uh, this is a Lego movie that came out. It's kind of like a 23-minute single episode. And Marvel does this a lot with their animated stuff, especially with Lego. Because Lego, you know, they do a lot of uh, theatrical stuff and movie stuff with Warner Brothers. And they do a lot of direct-to-video stuff with Warner Brothers, like uh, feature length or animated feature length, like, you know, 90 minutes or so or less. Um, usually around 70 to 80 minutes uh, but with Marvel they really haven't done too much long form stuff you know it's mostly been like either shorts or like you know a quick 23 minute episode and that's what this is and these sets these Lego sets that came out and I actually have the Venom one right here um, it's usually on my shelf behind me uh, a little bit higher but I had to like move it down as I'm like you know reorganizing everything behind me but this little Venom set this actually appears in the movie and I was wondering because when these sets came out you know there was like Spider-Man 2099 was in one of the sets and Miles Morales and Carnage and I was kind of wondering you know is this like like a melding of like Lego doing because you know a lot of times Lego can't get the full license for like you know into the Spider-Verse because that's a Sony thing and they kind of have deals with Disney and when it comes to Spider-Man stuff uh, and merchandise and stuff I think as far as I know um, I, you know, I am an employee at Lego and I sell the stuff, but I don't really know all the logistics of everything and how the rights work and how the, you know, the licensing works. Um, I don't really know all that information. So, uh, you know, I'm just assuming in some of the, uh, these cases here, but I was seeing the characters and I'm like, all right, some of these characters show up in the Into the Spider-Verse movie, but some of them don't, like Carnage doesn't, obviously, and Venom doesn't. So I was wondering where these really originated from. And a lot of times when Lego does release sets that come out, uh, you know, within like a year or so of those sets, they'll probably get something animated, either direct to video or online, or, you know, sometimes Marvel puts their stuff on Netflix. And Vex by Venom, I was waiting for it to pop up on Netflix because we saw this and got this news like months ago, like, you know, early this year, like February or March, something like that. And I've been waiting for this to come out, you know, as a Lego employee and a Lego fan uh, and as someone who's owned the sets. So I was like, all right, you know, looks like those sets actually tied into a movie. Uh, but I've been waiting and nothing. And then all of a sudden, about two weeks ago on August 3rd, they started releasing them in like five minute increments on YouTube on their Marvel H uh, HQ um, you know, YouTube channel that they do. It's like all their animated stuff. So anyway, um, I'll put a link down below. I'm not going to show really too much of the footage, although I might put up some clips of like Venom here and there. Uh, but I won't, you know, I don't want to, I want to avoid copyright, you know, infringements and all that. I want to, you know, I want to drive traffic to them since they worked so hard to make this short film. And uh, what I, you know, I, overall I liked it. It's definitely for kids, you know, for sure. Um, if you're thinking it's going to have any kind of like in-depth stuff or references to Eddie Brock even or anything like that, it, it doesn't. I mean, they keep things very simple for children, especially, you know, through the Lego lens. Uh, they don't go, they don't get too overcomplicated. So when you're watching this, you're like, hey, you know, like Gwen Stacy's in it and Mary Jane's in it. And it's funny because Mary Jane has like no lines at all, uh, but she's just there as like Gwen Stacy's best friend or something and then like the two of them hang out a lot and they study a lot um, and then they invite Peter Parker to study with them but he's too busy being Spider-Man so he can't uh, but the you know the story starts off and it has the Green Goblin teaming up with Venom and Venom is just Venom and that's it like, you don't really get a lot of Eddie Brock stuff or references to that but what I liked that this movie did was at first it was like Goblin saying I'm the brains of the operation and Venom is the bronze and he just pretty much Venom was just repeating one or two lines over and over and not really saying anything clearly and he was just kind of like you know a thug really and I was like oh, okay they're just gonna kind of bane him the way Bane was done like in Batman and Robin and he's just gonna be the muscle but Green Goblin gets taken out very very soon in the in the short film which I wasn't expecting because when I saw the trailer and I saw you know Goblin and Venom teaming up I'm like I know it's called Vexed by Venom but I thought Goblin was gonna do more I was very surprised happily surprised that he gets knocked out pretty early on and that Venom does take you know issue with that comment that he's not the brains also and so he proceeds to be the brains and the brawn uh, through the rest of the story so I really like that uh, and then back to the Gwen Stacy stuff you know she's just a, a person who goes to school with uh, Peter Parker and knows Peter Parker and his friends with Mary Jane 
but she's also ghost spider and we don't know her origins you don't get anything like that so if you're like you know thinking it's going to be like oh we're going to see the, the you know she's from another universe or it's you know whatever her origin story is in the comics um where she you know she has to fight an evil peter parker who is the lizard or something like that yeah none of that's in there again they keep everything very simple for kids who are watching this so when they see her show up they're like oh cool you know it's 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 gwen maybe or something you know uh she doesn't go by spider gwen obviously she goes by ghost spider and uh and so yeah there's some fun banter there with her name and spider-man's kind of like eh. so he again like batman and robin another batman and robin uh, reference uh when she says i'm batgirl he, uh, you know batman's like that's not very pc of you how about bat person um and so he you know spider-man has some fun with her in that regard there's also a fun simpsons reference which we saw when we did the trailer reaction where he's like everything's coming up spider-man and that's obviously a reference to everything's coming up millhouse uh so there's some fun little quips in here and fun little nods to other versions of pop culture and superhero stuff and cartoons and everything and uh, i liked it overall i thought it was fun but again if you're if you want more out of this you're not going to get more like most of us on this channel especially we do these really in-depth dives or we try to have these discussions uh, about you know venom and his character and who he is as a person and who we all think he is as a person and and how we how he evolves over the years and stuff and or devolves and vice versa and uh this isn't something we can do that with <laughs> this is literally just uh you know like cotton candy it's just just fun simple uh direct sugar for you and that's and that's pretty much all it is and for that reason though i was kind of nice because lately we've been diving into really heavy stuff like absolute carnage and we're getting into you know we're in the summer of carnage now and so it is a lot of doom and gloom that we're uh, covering so it was nice to actually just do something fun and watch this and check it out and see kind of you know a very different take on venom uh where it doesn't really focus on the eddie brock side at all and uh, which is a bummer but you know it's 23 minutes you, you can only do so much and they had a story to tell and they i think they did it pretty successfully um but it does if you're you know if you're a hardcore venom fan I feel like you're going to look at this and go, wow, he's really dumbed down, he's simplified, and, and it, he's not very interesting. And that's kind of true, but at the same time, it isn't for us, really. It, it is it is aimed at kids who are like probably somewhere between the ages of like 5 and 10, maybe, or maybe 5 and 8, um, or somewhere in that ballpark. And, uh, and that's just my personal opinion on it, uh, but that's how I feel like it was kind of structured. It was like, all right, you know, I, I would even say probably... 10 and 11 year olds like I was watching Batman the animated series when I was 10 and 11 so even then I liked or got introduced to slightly more sophisticated cartoons and there are a lot more sophisticated cartoons out there for kids so in a way I'm like eh, I wish this was a little bit smarter but at least it's fun uh, and that's really I think the key and that's what it was going for because that's what Lego does they just like to make fun things and uh, and use different licenses and properties if they can and I thought they did an overall good job with this I know there's probably some bias there with me working for Lego uh, but you know speaking frankly I, you know I thought this was fun, and if you just want to have fun and watch a fun little 23-minute cartoon that has Venom in it, uh, that's Lego form, and you can see him as a big fig, which I'm like, ah, oh, come on, Lego, give us that. Like, in this form, you know, that's a mini fig, for those who don't know. That's a mini fig size character, uh, and then this is obviously like a mech, you know, build that you build with Venom, but there is something in between. They're like, Thanos' mini fig uh, is like a big fig, or Hulk is like a big fig. So there is a scene where he becomes a big fig in this movie, and I was like, oh, I really wish we got that in one of those sets. So hopefully one day we'll get a big fig venom uh, that would be really amazing i know there's like the knockoff ones but i don't want to buy those i want just like the official lego products so maybe one day we'll get an official big fig venom that would be so awesome uh but have you watched vexed by venom i hope so uh if you haven't i put a link down below and hopefully i didn't spoil too much i didn't want to talk about the ending or it's like that not that there's anything really to spoil here it's a fun cartoon it, it's you know very safe you know as far as like story structure wise um there's not a lot of big surprises or twists in it for longtime fans like us um so uh, there's nothing really to spoil here uh, it's just a fun adventure beginning middle and end where you know the good guy wins in the end um and that's pretty much you know what what it all i was expecting it to be so for that reason i liked it and i recommend it to you guys so please go check it out uh link down below if you want to check it out for yourself at the marvel hq youtube channel yeah show those guys some love they put a lot of cool stuff you know content up on their on their channel and uh they post like things like uh, clips from their spider-man cartoons and other cartoons like guardians of the galaxy and it's they're slowly pulling me into those shows so i actually went and bought all of the Venom appearances from all the recent Spider-Man cartoons and Guardians of the Galaxy cartoons, anything that had a symbiote in it, I went ahead and bought all those episodes on Amazon. I spent like 
20 bucks or so uh, and to buy like, you know, 10 different episodes. And uh, we will cover them at some point, but I'll probably save the cartoon stuff for next season when Maximum Venom comes out and we'll do like a precursor of like the history of Venom and Carnage in animated form uh, right before Maximum Venom starts. So that's kind of my plan for now. And, uh, and hopefully we can stick with that because we got a lot of stuff to cover before the end of this season. So I got to get right to it with the next episode. We got a new cinematographer for the Venom 2 movie. I can't wait to talk about that. And then I'm going to probably break down or at least do a little quick discussion or review of the Symbiote Spider-Man miniseries by Peter David and Greg Land. That'll be coming up soon too. So thank you so much for watching the show. As always, let me know what your thoughts are on Vex by Venom down below. Please go check it out yourself and let your comments be known over on their page and on mine if you want to have a discussion about it. Thanks so much. See you in the future. Peace.